Hey, how are you? Jack Scalfani here, and it's the Christmas episode. That's right, we're doing eggnog today. Are you ready? I sure hope so, because I wasn't planning on doing uh, an adult recipe, because it has alcohol in it, so I'm calling it kind of an adult recipe. Uh, I like to do recipes that everybody can do, but you guys kept hammering me with emails on eggnog this year. I don't know what it is. So we're going to do it. I decided we're going to do it. In fact, one of my favorite scenes from my favorite Christmas movie, Christmas Vacation, is when Chevy Chase's uh, cousin-in-law or whatever shows up unwanted and he's like, uh, hey, uh, can I get you more eggnog? Can I get you something to eat? Can I drive you out to the middle of the desert and leave you for dead? Oh my gosh, is that the funniest line ever? And like for years, I didn't realize that's what he had said as he's pouring the eggnog. I love that scene. Christmas Vacation with Chevy Chase. Check it out if you haven't seen it. It's so funny. Um, so are you ready to do this? Okay, now here's the deal. There's a few things I want to tell you about what I'm going to do uh, that are important. Number one, this has alcohol in it. So if you're under 21, I'm telling you right now, don't try this uh, recipe. This is an adult recipe if you're in America. I'm not really sure what the age requirements for drinking alcohol are in other countries. So in fact, do me a favor. Tell me what your age requirement is for drinking alcohol uh, in your country. Give me the name of your country and how old you can be to have alcohol in your, in your country. I'm really curious. Leave it down in the comments below. Now, the recipe asks for vanilla sugar, and vanilla sugar is really interesting. Uh, you kind of make it yourself. You take vanilla beans, and you put it inside sugar, and you leave it for like two weeks in an airtight container, and it flavors the sugar with the vanilla bean. I did not have vanilla beans. I was not going to drive all over town getting vanilla beans. So I'm going to cheat and I'm going to use some vanilla extract. But the, the recipe down below will show you vanilla sugar. And I will also tell you how to make vanilla sugar below that. So you have the recipe, then vanilla sugar if you're interested. If not, you can make it the way I'm making it. Cool. Let's bring you in tight and let's show you all the ingredients. All right, here we go. Here's all the ingredients. I got eggs. I got dark Myers rum. I've got brandy. I've got sugar, half and half, and vanilla. That's all it's going to take to make eggnog. Uh, i got to tell you something now. The alcohol is important. If you try and make this recipe without the alcohol, the alcohol is not going to kill the salmonella then. Okay? Eggs can give you salmonella, and the alcohol is what kills it. So if you're going to make a non-alcoholic version of this, don't remove the alcohol to this recipe. There are some that you can cook. Go look online for that. This one has got to have the alcohol, to kill the salmonella with the raw eggs because we're not cooking these eggs. Trust me, it all works out. Six eggs, supposed to, supposed to beat them to their light, they're pale yellow and lightly frothy. I'm not even sure what that means, but uh, we'll try and guess what frothy is. I love that word. I think that's the, the word of the holiday. It's like, oh, did you like your uh, presents for Christmas? Oh yeah, they were very frothy. Beautiful. Six eggs. And if you never knocked eggs together before, you just slightly tap them. One always breaks and the other one doesn't. So you never have to worry about both eggs breaking at the same time. Crazy, huh? Okay. Tell me when to stop. Let me know when it's frothy, okay? <laughs> now you're not going to believe how easy this is once we're done with the frothiness. It's gonna be quick, so just bear with me. Okay, so that's done. Now we're gonna add the sugar in half and half, so let's do that right now. Here's the sugar. Open the half and half, I'm gonna add that in there. I knew it, I knew it. Oh, I hate these things. You know, this thing will open every day for me Oh, is that just crazy? Look, I just mangled the top. Look at that. I'm telling you, it's crazy. These things will open every day for me unless I'm filming. Uh, come on. <laughs> Sorry, you get to see me a little upset on the show. I started getting frothy around the collar. <laughs> no, I haven't drank any of the brandy yet. All right, here we go. So we're mixing this up now. Okay, I'm also going to put in the uh, one-third teaspoon of vanilla in there. I'm going to get all these flavors together before I put the alcohol in, okay? Oh, they told me never to pour over the, over the bowl, so I'm going to pour over here. There we go. There we go. Beautiful. 
That's how you cheat if you don't have vanilla sugar, which I don't. All right. You're supposed to mix this till it's well blended. Now, the way you can tell if it's well blended is if you don't feel any of the sugar on the bottom. You can tell it's starting to go away. It's starting to just become all liquid. Here comes the brandy and the dark rum. Now, I didn't use as much dark rum. I did one cup and one cup. The recipe asks for more. I did not do more. I don't want a lot of alcohol, just enough to, to kill the salmonella and the eggs. Oh, wow. It does smell really good. Crazy. So we're going to stir that up right now. Look at that. I'm getting a buzz just smelling it. <laughs> okay, so it's all perfect. Now, wow, look, it does look creamy and thick, just like eggnog. All right, we're going to pour it now in a pitcher. Once again, I'm probably going to spill this everywhere. You ready? Here we go. Yep, sure did. Missed the pitcher. But that's why I do it live. It's all for the show. All right, we're gonna chill this, and this is gonna chill for uh, at least three hours. I'm gonna chill this for a total of six hours, and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna try it. That's it. Leaving this pitcher in the refrigerator, it's gonna chill, the alcohol's gonna kill the salmonella, it's gonna thicken up a little bit, it's gonna be beautiful. All the flavors are blending right now. You're watching The Cooking with Jack Show. We'll be right back, right after this message. Hey, how you doing? Jack Scalfani here to tell you about my line of sauces. It's called the best barbecue sauce you'll ever taste. It's so good, we made a hot one. There it is. If that's not good enough, we made the best teriyaki sauce you'll ever taste. Bam! And to make it even better, we just released the best gourmet seasoning you'll ever taste. Go to thebestsauces.com, 100% guarantee. We do free shipping anywhere in the United States. Go to thebestsauces.com. I'll be there waiting for you. And now, back to the Cooking with Jack show. All right, now I'm going to season some nutmeg inside here. In the pitcher. If you have company over, you can put some uh, nutmeg in the pitcher just for decoration. It kind of spreads out on its own. Okay. If you're just drinking on your own, you can put it in the glass. Uh, put a little nutmeg after you pour it in the glass. There we go. Beautiful. Looks awesome. Let's give this a try. Mmm, smells delicious. Smells just like eggnog like you buy at the store, except this has brandy and it has rum in it, dark rum. All right, here we go. Now, once again, don't drink these and drive. You know all the warnings. Just be careful. If you're drinking an alcoholic beverage, you want to make sure that you're safe, okay? Wow. You know what's amazing? I was told in the, uh, some of the comments on this eggnog recipe that it, uh, it doesn't have any alcohol flavoring. I mean, you can't taste any of the alcohol at all. And you can't. This tastes like pure eggnog, like, I, like you buy at the store. This is it. This is the real deal. I can't taste any of the alcohol in this. That's amazing. Then you gotta be more careful now. All right. Mm. <laughs> Spilling all over myself. It's delicious. That's how you make real eggnog. There are also recipes on the internet for cooking eggnog. If you want to make a non-alcoholic one, you've got to make sure that the egg gets cooked in, okay? Be safe. Have a Merry Christmas. I will talk to you guys later. I'll see you on the next episode of Cooking with Jack. Bye-bye.